Welcome to A Quiet Place, The Road Ahead. This game is based off the franchise Quiet Place, which is pretty damn scary in my opinion. I'm assuming this game is going to be just that. I don't know how I'm going to record this though because the microphone also alerts the monsters. I forgot what they're called in this game. So it's going to be kind of weird. I don't know if I'm going to have to whisper the whole time or what. I'm sure there's some settings in there. I could probably turn that down a little bit. Let's get started. We're going to go through the settings though. I want to see what the uh, microphone thing is all about. Microphone, yes. See, look at you can see it's recording my voice right now. And that's just me speaking normal. Turn this down. Hello, hello. Is that a little bit better? That does... It does seem to help a little. I guess we'll do that. I don't know what threshold is. Set the minimum sound threshold to trigger in-game events. A minimum? Hello? Hello? Oh, I see. I don't know where I should put that. Because if I whisper, can you guys hear me right now? I guess we're about to find out. I think we'll leave it like that. If it's too weird, I can change it later. Okay, difficulty. Easy. More resources are scattered around the world. That sounds great. Creatures will be less perceptive to your noises, allowing a greater margin of error, and you can focus ability to sense the position of nearby en enemies. Normal is resources are present in decent amount. Your noises are easily perceived, perceived by the creature. You have some margin. Focus ability is disabled. Uh, I'm not doing hard. There's no freaking way. I guess normal? Fine. Normal. Alex. Alex. Oh, over there. You see that? That's a leucistic white-tailed deer. A uh, Lewis what now? <laughs> leucistic means they have patches of white fur. Ah, uh, I, I thought that was called getting old. Okay, this is a huge deer. They're incredibly rare. Oh, I'd love some rare venison. Did you hear that? Hear what? Wait here. I'm gonna check it out. Martin, hold on. Martin! Okay, we're in. W to move. Sensitivity's a little bit crazy. You can see on the bottom right, it is picking up my voice. Hopefully this game runs alright. I can't run. Not yet, anyway. C is crouch. I do have the game on DLSS balanced. It looks all right. Actually, it looks pretty good. I'm wondering if I should unlock the frame rates, though. I'm getting some tearing. Watch your step. Be careful and always watch your step. Different surfaces like water, dry leaves, glass, metal, or debris can produce a noisy sound and alert nearby creatures. Oh, I'm going to be awful at this game. Are there monsters right now? Am I going to be screwed like within seconds of playing the game? Slow movement. When you can't avoid noisy surfaces, walking s walking slower attenuates the sound. Move slightly. So what, like creep? Like this? Well, the bird's scared, so I think I screwed that up. So yeah, how you guys doing? I want to thank you for joining me. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. 
feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. Totally free. Yeah, I'm getting some tearing. I'm wondering if I need to adjust the frames. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe just leave it alone. There's a house right there. Oh, God. This game's got a vibe, don't it? being tracked what the hell's going on right now <sighs> shit I think we're alone. It's not okay. That door's locked. Move. Wait, what? I can't do it sitting down or crouching, I guess. What the hell? Come on. Going underground. I actually feel safer under here. Oh, don't make noise. Oh my god, shh, quiet. God, you guys are so loud. I thought that was a snake for a, a split second. Not that I'm afraid of snakes, I've had quite a few in my life. And we were just in there. <laughs> Shit. Seriously, where is he? Oh, oh you dick. Oh, come on, come on. That was funny. If you're five? Oh, just admit it. I got you pretty good. No. No, you didn't. I just... I didn't know where you were. I didn't know if you were hurt or... Uh, Alex. And, and I can't... I can't lose another... What's wrong? Alex, what's wrong? Oh, Jesus. Shit. Hey, hey, hey. What, what do you need? Huh? Alex, come on, come on. Please, please, please. Tell me how to help, okay? Martin, Mom? what is it? I, I, I don't know. She, she just... Alex, it's me. It's Laura. Can you look at me, dear? Okay, that's it. Just look at me. And breathe. Breathe. There you go. There it is. It's gonna be all right, Alex. Well, that was eventful. Day 105. Red Cloud Ranch. I'm looking for batteries too. My flashlight just died. And for a radio. Why? Something I'm building. Could help all of us. Keep quiet. Rain helps me. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Okay, here we go. I swear that was the chair. I didn't fart. Or did I? 
I swear to God, if I fart and it alerts a monster. Must explore the ranch and find supplies where the hospital is screwed. Is my voice... I'm seeing the icon in the bottom right. It's still telling me it's crossed out, so maybe this is still a tutorial? Uh, what'd I say, J? Diary. What the hell should I do now? What? What the fuck is this? Oh, dude, is she... Freaking pregnant? Okay. All right, here we go. I'm thinking we need to stay on the sand if that's what that is. Raiders be oh, there's a note. Raiders beware. It worked. I know you told me not to try it, but damn it, Tom, it worked. Traveled to that waterfall about half a mile from here and snapped my fingers. Nothing, no creatures. Then I spoke at full volume for the first time since before the invasion and still nothing. Finally, don't kill me, I yelled, and still not a single creature. I mean, it's not a permanent solution, but at least we know. Louder noises will keep the creatures from hearing us. I told you, Tom, I freaking told you. Well, that's wonderful. So the rain is good. We can't get in there. That's all closed up. Strangers turn back. Some smokes. If you send anyone, tell dad. Tell dad what, exactly? Remember hide and seek? That game sucked. I hated hide and seek. It always turned out to, who can you scare first? You can see documents, yep, pressing J. We already did it. Ah. That's not creepy. Let dad get the medicine. I hear everything. So I have to find a way in there? Is that what's happening? Ernest. That damn kid snuck into my office again. I swear to God, he must be getting into the office through the upstairs vent. And before you ask, yes, I am certain I locked the door. Now we go check, Glenn. Okay, it's locked. Something about a vent? I'm assuming we have to go upstairs, right? Uh, and just so y'all know, whatever's discovered in here, it wasn't for me. A friend of mine was using my computer. Played the game, apparently. At least for a little while. But 
should we go up? I don't know. Let's go over here. Don't run. Oh my god. Oh, my lungs. Well, we're not going that way now, are we? Is that a note? It is a note. Hey, Sarah. Thanks again for giving me your number. But Mr. Rice, my freak of a teacher, took, took my and all my classmates' phones so we could focus on nature or some shit. I thought, there's not supposed to be any cell reception here anyway, so what the hell? And I thought, oh god, what if Sarah thinks I don't want to text her? So then I thought, what if I just wrote her a letter or something? And then I thought about Julie D. Abigny? And how back in the 17th century she'd send letters to all her lovers while she was off being a kick-ass opera star. And having sword fights and stuff, and it just seemed, I don't know, super romantic. Not that I'm expecting to be this romantic. Or not romantic. Or whatever. Anyway. I, w I await your reply. Or not. This was a lot and you don't want to respond? That's like totally cool. No worries. Signed, Lydia. A.K.A. Madam... Whatever the hell that says. Hope you guys enjoyed that love story. going upstairs kind of quietly hints if you feel stuck you can press the tab key to have a hint on where to go next for a few seconds the hint also tells you which key action you have to perform to progress through the section well, that's convenient okay over there and over there There's an awful lot of damage in this house. It's locked. Look at there's food right here. Just take that. Oh, there's the vent or grate we can go through, I think. Needs need screwdriver. Mom loves you. Um, we don't go. Do we go across? All right. Shush. I feel like that was pretty loud. Game looks great. There's a screwdriver. Creates an air ducts. The vent. Yep. I guess we have to go back now. Did we just go over that? I'm slightly concerned that we have not seen a monster yet. It's going to be some form of jump scare, I imagine. Spin the mouse. Spin the mouse. To 
too close. Alright, in the grate we go. I feel safe in here. I don't know why, but I do. I don't know. I guess this way? I don't know. Okay, we're in. There's pills right there. There's a lot of stuff we could be taking and she's not. Which doesn't make any sense to me. We got a map. Don't do it. Christ, I've had enough of this stupid stomach bug. I must find a way to the infirmary and hope to find some pills. Well, judging by the sneak peek diary, it's not the stomach bug. Maggie, I got that old radio working. All day I changed the frequency over and over again, looking for someone. Anyone who could help us. I saw refle your reflection in the window, staring at me. Were you scared of me for killing that man? Accusing me of putting Joshi in danger? Angry that I didn't have, to have a way to fix it? I stared into your eyes for I don't know how long, trying to understand. That's when I heard, through the radio, the National Guard. They would taken over some campgrounds not far from here. They'll take us in, and they'll keep Joshi safe. They've got medical supplies, and a couple trained soldiers. No raider will scare our son ever again. I'm not going to let you down, Maggie. Not this time. You're Eric. Hey, dude had to do what he had to do to survive. Hey, we have a key. I think that was probably for upstairs. So weird, everything has to be done quietly. Merka. Okay, we've already read that. Guess we're going upstairs? Don't run. I keep forgetting. Don't run. There's five. Four is over here. Stop, come on, open up. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Oh, a tape. What's up with the lights? Black metal and kitties. Or Sarah by me. I got an achievement for that. Sweet. Hey, Sarah. With no H. Oh, thank God. I'm so glad you liked the letter. And that book sounds amazing. For Christmas, my parents got me a mug with my cat, Mr. Twinkle's face on it. They thought it was hilarious. Me and Mr. Twinkle's were not amused. Oh, and I know that you were, like, probably joking. But I picked this flower for you. I hope it doesn't get too crushed when I put it under your door. The front desk said it's a cardinal flower. Anyway, I hope you like it. Signed, your Moppin. What the hell is Moppin? Hello, just kidding. 
Yes. Oh, it wasn't bad. I think the horse knew I was ter terrified because it threw me off after like five seconds. That's when I went and picked you that flower. EPS. I may pick a few more flowers tomorrow if you want to join after lunch. Meds? We still haven't found any freaking meds. I'm starting to freak out a little bit. Lydia, you okay? My mom's freaking out. Say something. Wait, no. Saying something fell from the sky. Be safe, Sarah. Yes, let's rain check the flower picking, okay? So, the invasion came from off world. Where in the hell are the meds? Down, oh, right here. at all. Oh, the reveal. Natal hour. All right, we're going to pee on a stick. Now's a bad time to have a kid. One laugh, one cry, you're all screwed. She's cute. I like a good looking nerd with glasses. I wear glasses, otherwise I can't see shit. I will keep you safe. It doesn't look like you did. So I open that for nothing. Look at all these meds. Just take them all. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Excuse me. Where's he taking us? Don't scream, not even in the safe room. Come on, deep breaths. Just breathe and light the candles. Where are the candles? Oh, these? Oh, the red ones?
looks pretty cool down here. Big scary monster. I don't know what they're called. I forgot what they're called. Captain America and Cowboy Dad. My dad is the best. Better than the rest. He keeps me safe all day. He keeps the monsters away. He tells me not to peep. Wait, what? He tells me not to make a peep and protects me when I sleep. So I can dream of mom. Because when I sleep, she's not gone. That's sad. Mom holds you as you sleep. Joshi! Well, school is permanently, um... School's not a thing anymore. Did I read this already? Yeah. Is there no more? Here's a candle. Mom is dead, apparently. And there's dad. He was probably also dead at this point. Is there another candle? Oh yeah, right here. Can I get them all? Oops. Give me your hand. Another prank? Never. She gonna tell him? Oh, yep. Really? <laughs> oh, I love you so much. <laughs> oh, shit. Asthma stress. Physical or mental stress aggravates a Alex's asthma. Her condition is represented by the stress icon on the top left of the screen. When Alex's stress becomes critical, she will suffer an asthma attack. Try to keep the asthma stress to a low level by using inhalers and pills. Asthma attacks. When the stress level is too high, it can lead to an asthma attack. Avoid it by pressing F. With a green result, the asthma stress is reduced. A yellow result, you'll avoid the crisis. But if you're still one step away from it, with a red one, Alex will have the attack. Well, that's not good. Was that in the actual movie? F. Did I do it right? Yes. What should we do? Yeah, we'll figure it out. When it cries, laughs. We'll keep it safe. How? I don't know, but but we will. And your mom? She'll be a grandmother. Laura hates me ever since. You saved me that day. Alex. Finally, something good. Wouldn't call that good. 
I would call that a death sentence. Need supplies. Will the hospital have them? No, we're low on everything. There's a camp. They'll have supplies. First, we bring food back to the hospital, then we'll go to the camp. Sleepy time. Great, no rain. Oh no. Does that mean my voice is gonna be a thing? Did that really happen? Am I gonna be a... First things first, get back to the hospital. So lucky to have him in my life. Martin is amazing. I won't say I'm not scared anymore, but knowing he's with me gives me strength. Alright, moving along. Oh shit. I think the game looks pretty good. So if I ran right now, would I attract a bunch of unwanted attention? Let's try it. Oh, I can't run. My voice is still marked like it's not... Um, my voice isn't displaying any noise, at least... At least not that I'm aware of. And that looks good. Oh no. Oh no! shit well now she's a single mom welcome to a quiet place the road ahead is going to be difficult day 119 Alex how's it going any uh, progress with the um... phenomena Phenomenon. Right. You get it working? No. You need something? Oh, I'm heading to rations. Care to join me? No. No thanks, Dad. Okay. And how about, uh, how about I help you with the phenomenon? I'm no tech wizard, but... Dad, no, it's not ready. I know, Alex. I know. How? I'm a doctor. And your father. How far along? I don't... Two months, maybe? Who else knows? I... told Martin before he... <laughs> Alex, you will get through this. We will all get you through this. 
this? Me, Laura? No, Laura can't find out. Why? You really want to tell her I'm pregnant with her grandchild? Laura's always at her best when she has a goal. Since Martin's death, Mark's been running things, which is bad for everyone. This could give her something to focus on. Besides her, her grief. She will never forgive me. Never. Well, she's gonna find out whether or not we tell her. Not, not if we leave. Leave? There's a, a campsite turned into a National Guard outpost. They've got supplies. Oh, we are not going anywhere. This pregnancy will be complicated. I can take care of you here. At a half burned down hospital out of supplies. Have you actually spoken to anyone at this camp? No, but... So we don't even know if the National Guard is still there. I'll... I'll find proof. No. You need to rest. Dad, please. Look, I'll find proof. Tomorrow I'll look for a radio and see if I can reach someone. And if the National Guard is at the camp? One step at a time. All right? You shouldn't have a dead flashlight. I'll get you a battery. No, I'll get it. Are there any nausea pills? Antimedics. I'm not sure. Someone broke into the medicine cabinet. Now Mark won't let anyone near it. Okay. I'll collect what I can, so we're ready to leave once you contact the camp. Just... be careful. It's a shitty predicament to be in. Yeah, I might need convincing, but I want to leave ASAP. I'll go to the storage room and grab some batteries and pills. I don't know what to say, but I'm here. I don't know who that is. Happy one more happy one month anniversary. Martin. Okay. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Bunch of pictures. And a poem that I'm not going to read you guys. Here's a song. Alright, I guess we're gonna go get batteries and pills. We're going this way. That's Martin's room. Can we actually get in here? Hey, there we are. There, uh, that's us. Written debate. Mom, I love you. Duh. Nothing's gonna change that. You can't. But I need you to, but I'm asking you to do... Okay, what? For me, stop being so... So easy on Alex. Ever since the invasion, you've made her feel like shit, treated her like crap, made her feel even worse about what happened. You think she isn't beating herself up every day? You think she isn't carrying th that guilt? Because she is. This morning she said she wishes it had been her instead. And you're acting like you wish the same thing. And that's fucked up. If she hadn't taken that shot... Okay, the crossed out words are really jacking my up, my reading up. Okay, blah, 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 and dad. Okay, end of conversation. Well, I guess we're going this way. Should probably stop running. Steal any pills? Well, someone did. Yeah, 
Remember the Watsons? Or anyone else that was smart enough to get the hell out of here? No one is leaving until I find out who did this. I'm searching every room, including yours. You've gone off the deep end without Laura pulling on your leash. Watch it. Check, check what you want. I didn't take anything. That guy's gonna be a problem, isn't he? Looks like we have to go this way. Important. Daily rations have been cut in half. This is essential and not up for dis discussion. Mark. Storage room? Amy, baby. I know you're hungry, but you can't make noise. Have the rest of mine, okay? Mommy and Daddy will get you more, I promise. Storage room is down here. Who is this? What the hell is this? Something we're supposed to grab. Should probably stop running. Important. Someone broke in the medicine cabinet and stole from us. If you know anything about this, you must tell me immediately. Failure to do so means failing to put your community first. Mark. You know we're going to get caught. That's inevitable. Inevitable? Inventory. You can find different types of items around the world. You can store or equip them whenever you want. Use Q, Q for tools and E for consumables. You can also see key items useful for your progress in the top right of the screen. Okay, I see. And then E. Okay. Whip your flashlight. Recharge it with R. Okay, center button. And then hold R to recharge it. Alright, we gotta go back up. What is this? Can we put the flashlight away? Yeah. Oh, prayer to the mighty God that doesn't exist. Good luck with that. If you're religious, more power to you. Announcement. 
I know there have been concerns about my decision to decommission all radios, phones, and any, other, and any other device that would allow us to communicate with the outside world. Please allow me to explain. Though it has only been a month since the invasion, it has become abundantly clear that encouraging people to come together in large groups is almost certainly a death wish. Look what happened here. When the invasion began, hundreds of people filling these halls, screaming and begging for help. And all it did was lead those creatures straight to us. How many of our friends and families were wiped out by those things, or taken by the fire engulfed that engulfed the West Wing, all because there were too many of us? You put me in charge of our community for a reason. Trust my judgment. I will not let you down. Laura Edwards. All right, let's head upstairs. I think that machine is going to make it so my voice is going to be alerting the baddies. What a bitch. Enough. I won't be your prisoner. Okay, now we're... Excuse me, I'm eating candy. You know, Halloween and all. Probably won't have any candy left. Martin wrote this the night at the ranch. Hey, I couldn't sleep last night, so instead I put together a list of potential baby names. These are totally just ideas, so feel free to circle any you like, cross out any you hate. What do you think our child will be like? I like to imagine they'll have your eyes and your chin, your smile and your hair, your creativity, and my sense of humor. So as long as they don't inherit my dad's laugh. I'll be happy. Oh, who am I kidding? I'll be happy no matter what. Where are these names? Okay, so names I like. Included girls' names, boys' names, gender-neutral names, because hey, a good name's a good name. And at some point, they might want to change their name anyway, which is cool. Evelyn. Julia, Devin, Alan, Madison, Maeve. Anyway, that's what I got for now. Let me know which ones you like. Yeah, that's great. My daughter's name's Kaylee. Screwdriver? We already have one. All right, we're escaping. Oh god, now our voice. I think our voice is going to activate stuff and things. Hello? No, not yet. We have to follow dad. 
and watch our asthma. Through here. She'll let you out near the end of this floor. What about you? Oh, don't worry about me. I'll meet you at the camp. Just follow the train tracks. Now go. But... Alex, please. We don't have time. <laughs> shit get out oh no oh, we're not going up But I heard a monster. My voice is still not activating the attract monster ability. I don't think that desk is going to save you, buddy. Oh shit, it's, it's about to get real. Oh no. What do I do? Where's this monster? Okay, yeah, inhaler and pills. Inhaler and pills are used to lower stress level, avoiding asthma attacks. Those are consumed the moment you collect them, and they manage to lower a small portion. Inhaler can be kept as a consumable and, when used, completely removes stress and temporary immunity. Where is this monster at? Um, should we use it? No, we're going to store it. Can't go that way. This is not good. Oh no. Oh no. Shit, guys. The friggin' voice activated it. I'm gonna have to whisper. Can you hear me? I hope you can hear me. Move the mic a little closer. Not good. Shit. Oh, God. Is it? Wait. The thermometer shows the noise Alex is making in relation to the environmental sounds around her. Be quieter than the environment, but remember, tape, wires, and wits make up the experiment. Not a professional tool.
on a battery. Can't talk any louder than this. Every noise is dangerous. Try to reduce your sound as much as possible by avoiding noisy surfaces or walkily, walking slowly on them and hittable objects such as metal barrels and cans. Try to keep everything you do under the environmental sound level. Oh, this game is going to be stressful. to go that way. Where am I supposed to go? This way? is thoroughly stressful. Uh, how do I get the... Is it E? I'm 
trying to be quiet. Martin's room. I think this is his room. I can't read this stuff. Problems. I have to go there. Shit. I don't want to miss anything. Shit, get out. How? Spaceship. Here.
awareness. If you make too much sound, you will trigger the creature that will search for you. You can un you can understand when this happens by hearing its sound cue. If so, get out of there and avoid any noise until you feel the danger has gone away. We have to go down. Noise detection. For a more immersive experience, the game includes a noise detection mode, which will track every sound your microphone can capture. As if it's made by Alex. When the microphone detects a noise and reproduces it in game, a microphone icon will show. In some, in some sections, the microphone detection will be deactivated, and it will be shown with a bar microphone icon. You can enable the noise detection mode and calibrate your microphone and gameplay menus. I already did that. I don't know how well it's calibrated. But it's definitely registering my voice. I don't understand this icon. way. There's something in there.
immediately. get back up there. Shit. In the shadow, I thought it was something behind me. This is so terrifying. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh shit. The underground garage is my last chance to find another exit. There's no way I'm getting out that way. Shit. Where's this underground garage?
the way the monster went. Freaking out. Freaking out. Fuck. Don't stand in the puddle. This is so nerve-wracking. <gasps> Face the creature. Sometimes there might be situations where you'll need to pass through the creature to go to your next objective. Keep your distance, don't make a sound, find a way out. What the fuck? supposed to do. Okay, continue. That is seriously terrifying.
Guys, I think we made it. I think we made it. Day 119. Hospital is no longer safe. All right, hold on. I'm going to change something. I need to be able to talk to you guys. Let's see. Does that sound better? How about right there? How about now? I think that might be better. I don't want to make it completely simple. But I need to be able to talk. Can't go back. Dad told me to find the train tracks and follow them. Gotta go that way. A moment of respite. I can't look back. Jesus Christ, the hospital is lost. How the hell am I supposed to? Okay, I need to focus. Dad, I can't lose you too. It's a nightmare. This freaking game is a damn nightmare. I want my tool back. All right, story about a squirrel. There's water. Don't touch the water. sucks when the environment is so quiet. More bees, please. Don't hit the can. Don't hit the can. My voice is still setting off the uh, microphone sensor. There could be stuff down here. Meds. I hope you guys like this game and want to see more. It's hard to narrate or talk to you guys. There is stuff down here. Full. I'm not going over there. The game looks amazing, though. It really looks good. The Great Horned Owl. That's Laura. Yeah, I have to go that way.
Don't kick the can. So I guess Laura's the bad guy in this game. She's out for blood. Oh, I hear something. Find the train tracks and follow them. There's stuff in here. Shit. Just run and hide. You guys see it? I don't see nothing. There's stuff in here and I want it. Shit. Can't go that way. Dust? Oh no. A large amount of dust in a specific area can raise the amount of asthma stress. Try to avoid it. And if you can't, try to limit your time in it. Remember that you can use inhalers to have some time immunity. Where's the dust? Here? Shit. Overcome gaps. You can cross large gaps with the help of planks. Place one with F and use the mouse to lay it down slowly. Plank must be placed in specific spots, but a single plank can be used to overcome multiple gaps. However, it's a heavy object and going around with it will raise Alex's stress. What the hell? Can I just go up and over? Jay, you were busy when I got in, but I just wanted to say thanks for your concern the other day. I'm still waiting to get a new inhaler, but at least I got some pills for now. The pills aren't as effective as an inhaler, but they're better than nothing. I'll have them nearby in case I have another episode. Promise. Raphael. So, good old Raffy's got a problem. Guys. 
Pick the large plank out of the pile for a reason. Until we get this bolt, this built, we need to use that plank to cross the gap. Don't like it? If you had a better plan, I'm all ears. Until then, use the damn plank, Jay. We have a key to something. Probably that door. Can I not use the key? That's strange, I just picked up that key. And I just made a lot of noise. must be for that key. So what's the point of this exactly? Understand. Oh, it's that right there. I did all that to go around here. CDs. Got a tape. Some pills. All right. I really don't want to screw with the plank. Let's just get out. Touch the water. I think that thing is close by though because I alerted it. Now the dust.
Shit. So loud. God, it's behind me. I don't know where, though. Fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Do I seriously need to get that plank? Bullshit. Is so close. It is so close to me right now. I don't know where it is. But I think it's nearby. over there somewhere. Problem is this plank is super goddamn loud too. What the fuck? You guys, this is terrifying. Shit. 
shit. if it's possible if I can just run over there because these rocks are going to give me away. Just stay on the sand. over here. Don't touch that thing. Oh, shit. There's, a, there's inhalers. I need them. I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it all the way. Don't touch the rocks. <laughs> oh, sh shit. My scream triggered it. My scream triggered the thing. supposed to get over this damn it the train tracks are blocked I gotta find a way through the forest crap go that way go the way that thing ran. Yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing all right. Don't touch that. I really hope you guys can hear me talking. Here we go. Here we 
Here we go. I don't know how. Touch the water. Don't touch the water. Oh my god, there's so much water. What the fuck? So difficult. Okay, I have to go down there. Fuck, fuck. Shit. Shit. I just hit the mic. Damn it. No! Shit. Fuck. God damn it. God damn it. Still above me. This is unbelievably terrifying. We have to go that way. You guys, this is so difficult. I don't even know if you can hear me. I'm talking so low, basically whispering. The best bet is to cut through the house. I just hope no one's home. Hope no one's home too. Shh. Yep. Yep. We're here. And if they are home, hopefully they're not crazy. They both go to bed when with the sun. I'll unlock the door. See you then. It's locked. I gotta get in somehow.
This is open. That's not good. And she shut that damn door. Search of this house. Hold on, I want my stuff out. Let's see, do I talk? If I talk. Okay, nothing's happening. We don't have to worry about anything in here. At least I don't think so. Asthma's under control. Yeah, I'm not getting a... Uh, oh, yeah, I am. I have to be quiet. You guys, this game's pretty cool. It's challenging. It's very, very challenging. It's kind of difficult to record. Because I have to be so damn quiet. Wait. Is there a way to save it? Doesn't look like it. You know what, guys? I think we're going to end the episode here. If you want to see more, like and subscribe. Link to the game will be in the description below. This is Wildpop Gaming, and I will see you in the next one.